So welcome my dear friends, myself, Professor Dr. Rajendra Raghuvir Deshpande from Pune, Maharashtra State. As you know very well that I am MD, Doctor of Medicine in Ayurvedic Medicine, that is Kaya Chikitsa subject. And I am also MD in the Kriya Charya subject. And I have a lot of experience of teaching uh, to the students all the subjects of Ayurveda. So today we are talking about the second lecture from a Bala Roga subject, which is officially called as a Kaumara Bhritya Tantra. A little bit uh, complicated name. We know the Balaru. Bal is a child, huh? and we called as a children specialist doctor. So this is the Ayurvedic pediatrics. But in our syllabus, there are both the parts, like Ayurvedic parts as well as the allopathic parts. In the first lecture of Balaru, for the simplification, I will say the Balaru. Kindly open your notebooks. Dr. Deshpande always advised to make the separate notebook for each subject, like Roganidan subject. Then Sri Roga Vidyan, Bala Roga, Swastavrutta, and Charaka Uttaradha. Dr. Deshpande has started to take the lectures of these five topics, five subjects, and he will continue even further five or six months. Those the students who are interested to join, they can WhatsApp me on 9226810630. So today's lecture is again, I am taking only most important topics, and the students are requested to first index. That means they will write second. This is the second lecture. Then they will write today's date at 11th of October 2023. The time is 7 to 8 p.m. sharp. And then write down uh, the uh, important contents. I will explain you what are the important content. First, there will be the introduction. Fast, fast, fast. Write down introduction. Not everything. Only introduction word. This is the first topic. Then I will just scroll and tell you what are there. Eight branches of Ayurveda. Ashtanga Ayurveda. You know this, but write down that word. These are called as keywords. K-E-Y. Keywords. Very important words from the today's lecture. They are called as keywords. Always you make a habit to write down minimum words. Okay? In during the lecture. Because you are afterwards you are going to make a detailed notes. Then we will def, uh, definitions and terminologies. We will see the definitions and terminologies like what is Shishu, what is Balaka, what is Kumar, etc. Et then we will talk about Kaumar Vritya Tantra. Okay? First, the terminology, then Kaumar Vritya Tantra, then again the terminology. Again, terminology, different definitions. What is preterm baby? In between, I am speaking li little bit slowly because I know you are writing something. You make a habit of making little bit screenshot. You know how to do the screenshot on the mobile. How to do the recording. Simultaneously, you can put your recording on. Why not? At least you will afterwards, you will get a ready-made audio of Dr. Deshpande. So you make a habit of in between, you can take the screenshot. That is a picture of the screen, whatever you are looking. So that is easy for you to afterward make a notes. You can also always, always, and this will, I will tell you in every lecture, you start your audio recording also. Pre-term baby, full term baby, normal, post-term baby, over mature. What is live birth? What is birth weight? What is the appropriate gestational age? Then I will discuss perinatal death. Neonatal death, infant death, all these are the definitions. Okay. Then most important topic, which was which is asked in the question paper, scope of Kaumar Vritya Tantra or importance. Here you can see scope that we are going to see. Scope of Kaumar Vritya. Then importance of Kaumar Vritya Tantra. Both scope and importance. Then we will go for Kashyapa Samhita, most important, Kashyap Samhita. Because this is called as a master Samhita for the children problem. You know, Charakastu Chikitsite. Charakrantha is best for Kaya Chikitsa, principle of the treatment. Sushrut Samhita, who is a Sushrut? Who is Sushrut? Father of surgery. So Sushrut Samhita, for the Shalya Tantra, surgery, most important. Nidane, Nidane, Madhavaha Sreshtaha, Madho Nidan, 
in the name itself for the purva rupa rupa nidana nidana pancha pancha the best samhita best textbook is madhava nidan this is the name of the samhita similarly for children this is the best samhita which samhita is the best one kashyap kashyap is the best samhita for studying ayurvedic pediatrics balarog vidyan then we will talk about importance of kashyap samhita in kaumarut this question is already asked importance of kashyap samhita do not forget it then we will go for vaya bhed age age which is a garbha kal which is a bal kal kumar yauvan madhya kal our age like we know that till the 16 years of age we say that this is a maturing type of the phase of the life balyavastha you know this word balyavastha where kapha problems are predominant in the childhood kapha dosh is comparatively more than vata pitta from our birth to death vata is there pitta is there kapha is there all the three doshas are there sapt dhatu are there mal mutra purusha swet existing because our human body is made up of dosh dhatu mala moolam hi shariram so that is existing but comparison in the childhood kapha dominance so cold and cough problems are more in the childhood in tarunya avastha in young age say for example from the age of 25 to 50 tarunya avastha pitta dosh is a dominant so acidity problems inflammation problem burning problem bleeding problem pitta pitta problem more then in the old age after 50 plus 60 plus vardhakya old age vat dosh is a dominant comparatively one important word you write down what is com sir always say comparatively comparatively ayurveda there is a word vyap deshas tu vyap deshas tu bhuyasa vyap deshas tu one word bhuyasa vyap deshas tu bhuyasa means comparatively predominant i hope you have understood because these basic terms are not cleared by the teachers so that's why i am telling you then according to sushrut samhita according to charak according to ashtang rude vagpat this is the best guide ashtang rude and harita samhita then modern uh, classification of the age all that we are going to see in today's lecture so now again i will try to go up in the beginning and we will start to study introduction in the ancient time charak sushruta there was gurukula system there was not colleges and building first year bms second year bms no they were studying charak samhita they were studying rugveda yajurveda atharva veda so total holistic approach was there here you can see ayurveda was studied and practiced as a subject in total there was not uh, charak purvardh charak uttarardh sharir rachana kriya sharir no no everything was together 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 however ayurveda is commonly divided into eight branches many modern doctors they always criticize like we have md in ophthalmology ms in surgery md in medicine so do you have any specialties yes answer them ayurveda has specialties and super specialties and they are called as ashtanga ayurveda okay that here the shlokas are not necessary to mug it up no no forget whenever i say shloka is important mark it as important no important forget about it okay so this i, I actually i have the uh, learn by heart this ashtanga rude vagpat is very easy to learn to remember the shlokas from vagpat ashtanga rude very easy very easy remember hmm? 
So you go for that Ashtangarudaya, Ashtangarudaya. Sutrasthan, very important, very important. First for 15 chapters, very important for your life. First 15 chapters from Ashtangarudaya. I have my own small book. Ashtangarudaya from 1st to 30 chapters. Sandhi Vigrahi is there. Sandhi Vigrahi, and that is very easy to understand. Like for example here, Kaya, Bal, Graha, Urdhvanga. I am differentiating. That is Sandhi Vigraha, Shalya, Danstra, Jara, Vrishan, Ashtanga Irvid. Kaya, Bala, Graha, Urdhvanga, Shalya, Danstra, Jara, Vrishan. What is Kaya? Kaya Chikitsa. I have the MD, huh? general medicine. Then Bala Tantra is also called as a Bala Chikitsa. That is also called as a Kaumar, Vratya Tantra. That is pediatrics in modern science. Then Graha Vidyana, Bhuta Vidya. I do not translate. This translation is wrong. Wrong. Please write down in front of Graha. It includes psychological problems. Psychological problems, mental problems, Graha. And also, and also infectious problems. Infectious bacteria, viruses, fungi. They were using the words Bhuta, Pishacha, Rakshasa. So, Bhuta, Pishach, Rakshasa means, what, is, what does it mean? Invisible, invisible things which can make a man diseased. Invisible. So, there may be psychological problems also included and also infectious problems in the Grahavidya. Don't write this thing. Please don't write. I don't like this word, demonology. No. Psychiatric and infectious diseases. Then, Urdhvang, here. This body is important, clavicle. Urdhvang, Urdhvang, above the clavicle. This also translation I don't like. You say Urdhvang means ENT, ear, nose, uh, throat. ENT and here, here. Can you see? Ophthalm problem, eye problems, ophthalmic problems. And also brain problems, neurological problems. This is called as the Urdhvanga Chikitsa. Chalya, naturally surgery. Then straw, snake, snake bite, dog bite. All this is in the Dhanstra. Agata Tantra, Toxicology, Visha Tantra, food adulteration. Food adulteration, it was air, air pollution, water pollution. Everything is a toxicology. Then Jara Vidyana, geriatric problems. Here we give the rejuvenation. Rejuvenation means Rasayana. But basically it is called as a geriatrics, the problems of the old age. Then Vrishya, Kaya, Bala, Graha, Urdhvanga, Shalya, Jashtra, Jara, Vrishan. Vrishan is aphrodisiac, sexology. Don't forget it. Now, different definitions. Take always a snapshot. Huh? Record my words. Shishu. Child takes. Don't, don't go for shlok. When I don't read the shlok, forget it. The, you must remember this word. Shishu. Huh? Shishu is child takes excessive sleep. And hence it is called as a shishu. Then Balak. In whom power of strength is increasing. Day by day. That particular Balak. Bala. Bala. Strength is increasing. Then Kumar, during this period, the child will spend most of its time playing. Huh? And hence it is called as a Kumar. Then Vritya, Kumar Vritya. What is Vritya? Vritya means to nourish. We have to give the good food to the child. Development of the muscles. Development of Rasa, Rakta, Mans, Mez, Asti, Majja, Shukra. From the birth to the age of 16, all dhatus are growing step by step, step by step, step by step. That is nourishment. That is support to the body for the whole life. The child has to live 100 years. So all the nourishing and support is given in this particular childhood period. So this is Kaumara Vritya Tantra. Tantra is a science. Tantra is a science. So Kaumara Vritya Tantra, if you by chance remember few words, Kumaranam, Bhruti Dharanam, Poshanam. Two words are important. You write down. Dharanam, Poshanam. The science which is dealing with, which is having connection with the care of the child, support to the child, nourishment of the children, 
that whole science, whole philosophy is called as Kaumaru Vritya Tantra. Tantra is a science, technique. Kaumaru Vritya Naam, Sushrut definition. This is what Chakrapani, Charak Tikakar. Kumar, Kumar, Bharan, Dhatri, Kshir, Dosha, Sanshodhanartham, Dushtastanya, Graha, Psychiatric and in here infections. In the children, infections are very common. Why? Sir, why? Immunity is low. Immunity is low in the children. Not perfect, like an adult. Little less. So infections are more. Mums, measles, viral infection, common. Samutthanam cha vyadhi naam upashamanartham. When the sir is reading Sandhi Vigraha, that's why you make a recording. Okay? Kumar Rutya is the name of the branch which is dealing with Kumar Bharana. Here, where the, can you see the word Bharana? Bharana means supporting, looking after the child. Dhatri Kshira Dosha Sanshodhana. Purification of the breast milk of the mother. Mother is called as Dhatri. Okay? Dushta Stanya. Bad, bad, bad breast milk. Infected breast milk. Samutthana Vyadhi Upashamanart. We have to cure the diseases caused by vitiated of breast milk. Vata Dushta Stanya. Pitta Dushta Stanya. Kafa Dushta Stanya. Stanya is a breast milk. Stana breast. Stanya breast milk. Don't forget it. Draha samuthana vyadhi. Vyadhi disease. Upashamanarth. To cure the diseases caused by graha dosha. Bacteria, viruses, fungi, etc. Next. Dif different terms. First term, modern. This is, our, this is modern. Preterm. Any newborn. Birth occurs at the end of 37th week of the gestational period. Proper, exact time. This is normal. Huh? I am sorry. I am sorry. This is preterm. Huh? Because how many uh, weeks should be there? In the ninth month, here they have mentioned. Here they have mentioned. 38th week is a proper. Can you see? This is this, this, this. I don't know why I cannot make this. But this is very important. 38th week. This is normal and this is 37th week. So that is called as a preterm baby. Okay. Only you have to remember only don't go for the days etc. Forget. Leave it. Only remember the weeks. Okay. This is 37 preterm. Then 38 up to the 42. 38 to the 242 weeks is a normal gestational period. Gestational means in the uterus during the pregnancy. Post term. After 42 weeks, only remember weeks. Forget about the days. Okay? From 48, 42 weeks to the first day of third, 43 to third week is called as a post term. Next. What is live birth? Delivery of the baby which shows the sign of life irrespective of gestational age. That means whenever the baby comes from the uh, vagina, Delivery takes. And if you find whether it can be happening in the 37th week, whether it can happen in the 42 weeks, whether it can happen anyway, when you see the child is showing pulse, heart sounds, breathing, these are called as the signs of life. Pulse, heart sounds and breathing. So if it is showing, that is live birth. The child is live. Child is alive. So jivante baarte. Uh, he is alive. Now birth weight. The weight of the newborn, newborn baby measured immediately after the delivery. As soon as possible, that is called as a birth weight. It is usually expressed in the grams or kilograms. Next. Appropriate for the gestational age. Infant with a birth weight between 10th and 19th percentile for that particular gestational age is called as appropriate gestational age. Those infants lie below the 10th percentile are consider considered as a small gestational age. It is not according to the gestational age or the period in the uterus. Where who fall 
above 90th percentile are considered as a large for gestational age which is a small baby as per weight which is a big baby but you can just remember the term appropriate for gestational age birth weight is calculated how much it is how it is calculated i will tell you afterwards perinatal death again death huh? death of the baby from the 20th week of the gestational age of the fetus and before seventh completed day after delivery in this period if the child dies that is called as a perinatal peri means surrounding the delivery period perinatal death then neonatal death death of the live born baby before completion of the 20th days of the age uh, that is inside the uterus neonatal death i am sorry i am sorry death of the live born baby before completion of the till the age after delivery you have to cal calculate the days 1 2 3 4 and before completing one month if the child is dying that is neonatal death neonate is a coming baby and neonatal death infant death death of the live born live born means a live child here also i will repeat death of a live child when he comes out he was alive but within the period of 28 days he dies because of the infection because of the trauma forceful delivery whatever that early early period is called as a neonatal death then infant death what is that before the completing the one year if the child die then that is called as infant death transitional period period of instability during the first 6 to 8 hours after birth this is very delicate period this is this is called as a transitional period but these definitions are not very important but you can remember those now scope importance very important kumar vrittyam naam kumar the same shlok sushrut sutra sta if possible you can learn by heart this shlok is comparatively important i will read for you kumar vrittyam naam kumar भरण धात्री क्षीर दोष संशोधनार्थ धात्री क्षीर ब्रेस्ट मिल्क संशोधनार्थ दुष्ट स्तन्य संशोधनार्थ दुष्ट स्तन्य ग्रह समुत्थाना चीन्स एंड व्याधीना उपशमनार्थ सो द रोल ऑफ ए पेडियाट्रिशियन फिजिशियन इन द चाइल्ड हेल्थ केयर स्टार्ट राइट आफ्टर द कंसेप्शन right after the conception and continuous during the antenatal before the delivery natal during the process of delivery and post natal period till he gets the adult at the age of 16 the role of pediatrician is there providing care to the perperial woman the mother after delivery it's called as a perperial after delivery is also responsibility of a pediatrician because the care of an infant cannot be fulfilled without the care of feeding mother so feeding mother is also important matu reva pibet stanyam who world health organization says the breast milk is the best food for the first 6 month of baby pehla 6 mahina madhe aicha dud hez anna asto marathi madhe breast milk is the only food for the first 6 months of the child importance of kaumar vritya according to kashyap again don't forget this word kashyap samhita the kashyap is a rushi kaumar vritya is the most important branch among the ashtanga ayurveda because child needs to be born and brought healthy to able to attain the four purusharth you know what is purusharth our four important goal of life anybody has these goals why i am coming on this earth why you are coming on this earth why this child has come on the earth to attain dharma arth kama and moksha dharma arth kama moksha these words are very important chaturvidha purusharth please write down dharma means duty dharma duty in the childhood learning is a duty brahmacharya ashram in the adulthood to get married and to make a next progeny 
to do the duties like service or the business and to take care of your family. Grihasthashram. That is dharma. Artha to gain something with following these our duties. Kama is enjoyment with all our senses. Kama is not only sex. Enjoyment with the ear, eyes, all the panchanyanendriya. And moksha. What is moksha? <laughs> it is not heaven. No, no, no. Moksha is a eternal happiness. Eternal, permanent happiness in the life. That is everybody's goal. And to attain that goal, the child has to grow. The child has to grow, to become adult, to become old. That's why his full life is beginning. So their care is must. Just a moment, I will see what is your salvation, moksha. But that's what I am saying, uh, my uh, dear friend, that in spite of this complicated word, you can say eternal happiness. Yes, you are correct, salvation. But eternal happiness. Which happiness is not depend on your money, not on your bangalore, not your, on your wife, partner, nothing. I am happy, contented, samadhan. Huh? That is moksha. Okay. By following the Ayurvedic principles described in Kaumar, child can have proper physical and mental health, both, and development, and therefore can become a healthy individual with a strong base of to achieve, to get Chaturvida Purusharth. That's why the child care is very important. Next, Kashyapa Samhita. Importance of Kashyapa Samhita, synonym, Vridha Jivakiya Tantra. Jivak is another name for that scientist. Then, Rachanakar, who is a write-up author, who is author? Acharya Kashyapa. When he has written all these things, 600 before Christ. 600 before Christ. Kashyap Samhita is considered the best Ayurvedic textbook or Samhita written for Balarog and Balarog Chikitsa. It covers all the aspects of Ayurveda but has given focus, focus on children. Utpatti Brahma, the great extraordinary knowledge person, Daksha Prajapati, Ashwini Kumar, Indra and Kashyap. This is the sequence how the Kashyap has learned from generation to generation. These are the sthanas of Kashyap Samhita. Take a snap. Kashyap Samhita very important. Sutra sthana, 30 chapters. Nidanas, not all are available. Only 11 are available. 4 are full length. Because you know the history of Ayurveda. I am not going into detail of that. But many Samhitas are because of the, what you can say, the attacks of the foreigners and all these things. They are being destroyed due to the time factor. Nidanasthan, eight chapters, nothing is available. Vimansthan, eight chapters, only two available at present. Charisthan, eight chapters are there, five are available. Indriyasthan, 12, 12 chapters are there, one is available. Chikitsasthan, 30 chapters were, were there, but 18 are available by uh, bad luck. Siddhisthan, I have mentioned what is Siddhisthan in Charak Samhita also. Related with Panchakarma, Vamana, Virechana, Basti, Rakta, Moksha, Nasya, what are the complications? Like Siddhisthana, Kalpasthana, the medicines for the Panchakarma. Okay, 12 sthanas were there, now 9 available. So, totally chapters are, there is also Kila Bhag. Then 200 chapters are there, 77 are only available, and among that also 19 are in full length, others are scattered. Next, we will go further. Importance of Kashyap Samhita in Kaumarutya. Lehana Adhya, a typical chapter was there regarding the Satana, Suvarana Prashana Sanskar, that is Lehana. An entire chapter decided, uh, dedicated, that means given the importance to the Lehana for children. Specific posology for drug administration, doses. Posology means which dose, how it should be given for the children. And Shodhana Dravya for children. Acharya Kashyap has given the importance to the therapeutic dose for the children. Further, he explained to make the formulation palatable. Palatability is very important. You know what is meant by palatable? Good taste. Palatable, good taste. No bitter. That's why many children medicines are in syrup form. Procine syrup. Many are syrup formation. Then we will go further. The significance for best quality of milk 
for proper physical and mental growth and development has been described. This is all about Kashyap Samhita. Dentistry, teeth, description of the physiology of the teeth eruption with reference to its time and fall of temporary teeth and ideal dental arrangement is described first time by Kashyap Samhita. Then Vedanam Adhyaya, the entire chapter dedicated for 34 diseases of children along with the Pura Rupa and what is called as a Pratyatma Lakshan. You know what is meant by Pratyatma? Pratyatma is a very specific symptom of that particular disease. Pratyatma. Do you know what is the Pratyatma Lakshana of Jhara? What is the very important feature? Santapo Dehmanasaha. Santap, hit in the body and mind. That is the Pratyatma Lakshana of Jhara. What is the Pratyatma Lakshana of Drahani? Muhur Baddham Muhur Dravam. Sometimes constipated, sometimes dudes. What is the Pratyatma Lakshana of Pravahika? Amibi dysentery? Pravaha Manasya Pravahika. Pravahana straining by defecation. Amibi dysentery is like that. He has to strain and little bit stool. So all these are the examples of Pratyatma Lakshana. Dr. Deshpande is explaining side by side applied part. <laughs> that is very important. In context of Bal Grah, again, again, infectious diseases, 20 Grahas, this topic is unnecessary given importance. Personally, my opinion, now we have the different things and all these things. But in examination, they will definitely ask you either few questions on this Grah Badha. My dear friends, please write down this word, Graha Badha, which are the different diseases with relation to the Graha. Please, please write down. All these terms we'll have to remember. I'm going to take those things, but important topic. And each one of these is different from the told by other authors. A special chapter has been dedicated to Dhatri Chikitsa and Yoga. Yoga means here night pranayam. No, no. Yoga means formulations. Please write down. Yoga means formulations, product like bala tail for oil massage, baby massage, bala tail. Bala is a sida, cordicolia, strengthening, muscle strengthening herb. Ras, rasna tail, anti vata for pain relieving. Nemina tail, huh? that I don't know, we will see afterwards. The treatment principles of eye disorders in children are described by Kashyap. Acharya Kashyap considered Ahar as Mahabhishach. He has given food is your medicine. Kashyap. Food is your medicine. Ahar means food as a Mahabhishach. Best medicine. And explain the importance of in the growth and development of children. Food is very important. Kshira, sorry, Khilabhanga is found only in Kashyap Samhita. Then in Sved Adhyay, Ashtavidha Sved, fomentation, which can be administered to the children, has been listed. Nasya, nasal drops, and administration with special reference to Bala has been explained by Kashyapa Samhita. The best type of drinking water for a child based on different seasons, Grishma Rutu, Varsha Rutu, Kashyapa Samhita, it is mentioned which type of the water should be given. Now, Vaya. This question has already been asked many times. I don't know why they are asking, but they are asking. And nevertheless, they will tell you, tell the Vaya Bheda according to different Samhita. Oh my God. Actually, it is not necessary, but they are asking and you have to remember what we can do. For example, first is very important. Kashyapa is a text of, so at least you remember this Kashyap first. Then step by step, Charaka, Sashrata, Vag, but etc. afterward. Kashyap saying Garbhakala from conception till delivery. Shukra Shonita saying male and female again it unite. Spermatozoa and ovum unite. From that up to the delivery is a Garbhakala intrauterine life. Bal, Bal till one year. Huh? That is Shirapa or the breastfeeding. 
Kumar Kal from 1 to 16 years. Uh, that is Annad. That means regular food is started. Shirannad. Shirad. Shirad means only milk. Shirannad, milk plus food. And Annad, mainly food. Is it like that in Annad you, you should not drink uh, milk? No. But predominantly you should eat the chapati, rice, vegetables, this and that, all the things. So three words you write down, please. Three words. Kshirad. I will wait. Kshirad. K-S-H-I-A-D. Kshirad. Adana means to eat. Kshirad, only breast milk up to the sixth month. Kshirad. Kshirannad. Please write down. Kshirannad. Kshir, milk, plus Anna. Kshirannad. Sixth month to two years. Shirannad. And after two years, Annad, mainly food, external food. All proteins, carbohydrates, fats, minerals, vitamins, etc. Every chapati, roti, bhaji, pickles, everything. Okay? Shirad, Shirannad, and Annad. You must remember. Then Yavanakal, Kashyap is saying 17 to 34. Yath, young people. Then Madhyamakal, little bit middle age, Grasthashram, family and all these things. Huh? 35 to 70 years. And Vriddhakal, from 70 till death. Okay. Now we will go Sushruta Samhita. First, Balyavastha, up to 16 years. Kshira, Kshirapu. Kshirapu. I said Kshira, Kshirad, but Kshirapu, birth till the one year. Kshirad, sorry, Kshirannad, 1 to 2 years. Annad, 2 to 16 years. Then Madhyavastha also, he has differentiated. Vriddhi, step by step, height is increasing, 16 to 20 years. Secondary sex characters. Here, Vriddhi. Madhyavastha, but Vriddhi is taking place. Yauvana, no height will increase. Huh? Already, you have already testosterone, estrogen, progesterone. So that is Yauvana, 21 to 30 years. Sampurna. Now there is no lacking. Everything is perfect. Buddhi, intellect, physical, mental, you are perfect. 31 to 40, you make a lot of efforts to achieve your targeted goals. 2 BHK, 3 BHK, this car, that car. Everything you can do in 31 to 40 years. Then Parihani. Parihani. A little bit losses starts. Little bit. Physical wear and tear will be little bit more and more. Okay. So that is 41 to 70. And Vriddhi, total Vriddhi, 70, that is over mature, huh? 71 till death. Sushruta. He has given a little bit more uh, details from the Kashyapa. Next, we will go Charaka, Balakal. Oh my God, Charaka has extended to 30 years. I don't agree with this. But he said, what is his opinion? Then, this word is very important. They will ask you, A Paripakva Dhatu Avastha. Childhood is always a paripak up to age of 16 years. All dhatus are not well formed, like asti dhatu, for example. Till the age of five years, your majja dhatu is not completely formed. Myelin sheath is not completed. Do you get this point? Then we were the man. Gradually, still you are growing with your intellect at maturity till the age of 30. Then madhya kal 30 to 60, and jirana kal 60 years till the death. I think you can observe little bit changes are there. You can study them afterwards. Then what is Vagbhati saying? Balya, birth till 16 years. This is okay. Then Kshiravastha is good. One, up to one year. Anna, Anna Vastha, Anna and Kshira, 2 to 16 years. And uh, Ubhaya Vartana, that is 1 to 2 years. That means Kshira and Anna. The, Kshira. the words are little bit here. But I, what I have told you is very important. Kshirad, Kshiranada and Anna. Then Kshaya, that is 60 years till the years. Uh, latest uh, because he understood that we, the uh, Kruta Yoga or the sorry Kali Yoga the people will not live 70 or 80 like that. He says okay 60 years then old age starts till death. Retirement. Huh? Harita Samvita Balya till 16 years. Yuva 17 to 25. Madhyama Vastha 26 to 70. This is good. I think I like this. Then Vriddhi 70 years till the death. Now modern. Modern is more perfect. Prenatal period, that is ovum, 
This is very important to remember. I say I can say this ninth page is very important for you. Please don't forget to remember these things. Prenatal period, that means in the Garbhashaya, ovum, 0 to 14 days. Okay. Then embryo, 14 days to 9 weeks. Embryo, 14 days to 9 weeks. I am going a little bit slow. If possible, you can start writing also. Oh, no problem. I will wait. Fetus, because this is uh, everywhere. Whenever you open your clinic, Whenever you will visit to the doctors and all these things, they will discuss in this way. Prenatal, perinatal, postnatal, adolescence, they will discuss this thing. So, embryo, 14 days to 9 weeks. Please start writing. We have a little bit fortunately time. So, you can start writing these particular terms. Fetus. Huh? What is fetus? 9 weeks to birth. That is fetus. Of course, this is in the uterus. Huh? All three things are in the uterus. Ovum, first 14 days. Embryo, 14 days to 9 weeks. Fetus, 9 weeks to the birth. Perinatal period, 22 weeks of pregnancy. Can you calculate the month? 4 weeks is 1 month. Am I right? So, Chara Panchevi is 5 months and 2 weeks. Am I right? 5 weeks and uh, five months and two weeks. Huh? From this period to after delivery one week, this whole period is called as a perinatal. Peri means uh, before and after. This perinatal. Postnatal. What is postnatal? After delivery. Delivery has been done. Then newborn. What is newborn? From birth to 28 days. That's why you have heard this word. Na? The a death about the death, then infant, neonatal death up to the 28 days, uh, neonatal death, then infant birth to one year of life, toddler, another important word, toddler, one to three years, preschool child, preschool child, that is three to six years, then the school going child, six to 12 years. This is very uh, present, uh, uh, what you can say, understand. Uh, the, uh, the, the, accordingly, we send the child uh, to the kindergarten and first standard and etc. All this. Now, adolescence, early 10 to 13 years. This middle is 14 to 16 years. And this is the proper time when you get the secondary sex characters. You remember the word? What is the word in Ayurveda? Write down. Zat. Venjana Lakshana. Zat Venjana Lakshana. Don't forget this. Huh? Secondary sex characters. That is, the child is going from puberty to adolescence. He is becoming the reproductive person or the woman. Then late 17 to 20 years. See, the adolescence is finished and you enter into the young age. Actually, considering the intrauterine and childhood period, we can stop over here. But whatever the Vayobheda we have seen up, upward, that is up to the death they have described here you know, the classification of the age. I think uh, this was the material that I was prepared for the today's lecture. But if you don't mind, now if you have any question, you can just uh, chat first, uh, ask me that I, I want to discuss something or I want to tell you. And then according to the convenience, we will start a little bit discussion. Otherwise, I would like to emphasize on again few shlokas. You must remember this line. Ashtanga This is a revision of today's lecture. Kaya, Bal, Graha, Urdhvanga, Shalya, Dashtra, Jaravrushan. What today's lecture is about? Bal. Bal. Bal is a Bal is a childhood. Kaumar Vritya Tantra. But here I have explained about the Graha. Graha is not only that demonology or Bhut and Pishach and Rakshas, but that is related with the psychology and infectious diseases. That understanding is very clear. Then uh, here you basically remember these two words. Kridayam iti kaumaraha. Krida, Krida means playing. Krida is playing, playing ground, Kridayam. During this period, the child is spending most of the time playing and hence this particular period is called as a Kumar. That's why we always say 
in the childhood all the your rasa rakta mouse made asti majja shukra are developing so for proper development of the dhatus there must be proper physical and mental exertion so there is the importance of indoor or outdoor games the most important is the outdoor games like for example running swimming cricket volleyball table tennis badminton lawn tennis whatever so this is kumar kridayam can you see the word i am revising making as a revision kridayam iti kaumara the child who spent that's why we say na are te lahan tar ay khelu ja tala tacha vay ahe khelnyacho in marathi in maharashtra we say te vay ahe khelnyacho this is the word te vay ahe that is the age of playing whether you have seen the lot of the few exceptions are there but in the middle age or in the old age does the people are interested to do the lot of games no they want to little bit relax so this is the age then bhrutya is word is bhru bharane dhatu this is very important bhru bharane and what is the bharane that is nourishing and supporting nourishing and supporting okay and what is the full definition by chakrapani basically i have given that sushrut samhita is more important i will repeat this Please see this sloka. Very important sloka. Kumar Bhrutyam Nama. This is revision of today's lecture. Kumar Bharana. You can write down Kumar Bharana. What is Bharana? To give physical and mental support. To give the good food. To give the good sanskaras. Sanskar topic is very important. Please write down sanskar topic is very important. In Strirog also, but mainly it is in the Kumar Bhutya Tantra. You will definitely ask about the different sanskar, Karna Vedana sanskar, Naam Karna sanskar, Thir Ceremony Munja sanskar. You will have asked the different sanskaras, and that is most important. That is why to support the child with proper food and proper sanskar. In the evening, always there is a chanting of prayer. You know. Shantakaram, Bhujagashayanam, Dipajyoti, Namastute. These are the shlokas that we chant in the evening. In the morning, the, the child is chanting Maruti Stotra. All these things you can write in your examination. No problem. Because that is a Kumara Bharana. Now next word is Dhatri Kshira Dosha Sanshudhanath. Together. Dhatri Kshira Dosha Sanshudhanath. Dushtastanya. Sanshudhanath, Dushtastanya. If by chance the breast milk is vata dushta, pitta dushta, kapha dushta, the treatment is given to mother, not the child. And through the breast milk, the medicine will enter into the abdomen of the child. So whenever in the breast feeding period, child suffers from diarrhea, child suffers from baby, baby, the baby suffers from fever, the medicines better you should give most of the times. I'm not saying 100%. But most of the times you can, according to Ayurveda, treat the mother and the effect will be seen through the breast milk. The drug will come into the child. Okay. So that is that. Then, then what is there? Graha samuthanam. Because of the graha. Because of the graha. Invisible pathological elements. Invisible pathological elements are called graha in Ayurveda. Graha samuthanam, because of the graha, because of the bacteria, because of the viruses, whatever the diseases are coming, samuthanam, vyadhinam, upashamanartha. Vyadhi is a disease. We have to treat those particular infectious diseases. Okay. Next, I have discussed, this is not very important as I have told you, but I will concentrate on, yes, scope. Huh? Again, the same shloka you have to write down in the scope and importance, as I have told you, chaturvida purushartha. Dharma, Artha, Kam, and Moksha. And for that, getting those things in the life, the childhood period should be well controlled by the parents, by the mother, by the father, by the relatives, and also by the physician, pediatrician. He must guide them properly. Okay? So, all together, society, family, doctors, they will. Upon Asa Mantobaga, in Marathi also we say, he. He, uh, balak, aplya, bharata, bhavishya hai. So these children are the future of the nation. Why this is said? The children are the future, means bhavishya of the nation. Why? Why 
these phrases are there. This is the importance of Kaumar Pratyay. As you made the good samskara on the childhood, that child will be a good citizen, a uttam nagarik banel. Otherwise, he can be an angry person, he can be the cheater, he can be the violent person, he can be the murderer, he can be the robber. Anything can happen if there are no samskar. Or if you fed him too many things, eat my child, take these sweets, chocolates are good. And if you overfeed, overfeed the child, in the future, child will be obese, he will be diabetic, he will be hypertension. Are you getting my point? If there is a poverty, if the parents cannot give him the proper uh, protein, carbohydrate, fats, this and that, vitamins, the child will in the future will suffer from malnourishment problems. In the childhood also, he will suffer from marasmus, koshi or cough. I have given these uh, words to you or even the PPTs are, no, videos are given the link. So you must see the care, videos carefully. This is all coming under the importance of Kaumar Pratyay. So many things you can write over there. Okay? And then, most important is the Kashyap Samhita. You must remember there are 200 chapters and Sutra Nidan. At least you should remember this left side. Huh? Sutra Nidan, Viman, Shari, Indriya, Chikitsa, Siddhi, Kalpa and Chilasthan. Okay? Then I have given you some layer. This topic is very, very important, my friends. This will be 100% asked either in the internal examination or the external examination. Even if they ask you the importance of Kashya Samhita, you do not start from this page. You must start giving this background. All these things, the introduction of Kashya Samhita, and then you write down the, but it depends. If it is only SAQ, you can write down only this page. But if it is coming under the LAQ, you have to write down all two pages together. So Lehya Samskar is there, then doses are given precisely. Then breast quality, breast milk, uh, proper uh, maintenance of that breast milk quality. Then dentistry is there. Then different uh, 34 diseases are mentioned. 20 grahas. I said this is very important. Then uh, dhatri chikitsa and different formulation. Yoga is not here. Uh, hatha yoga. This is a yoga means formulation. Bala tail, rasna tail, etc. Then eye disorders are mentioned. Don't forget this. Then ahar is called as a, this word is very important. Please remember, ahar is a maha besha ja. Food is your medicine, said by Kashyap at that time, 600, 500 BC. Then chila, all these things are there. And then vayabhed, I think uh, this you must remember this garba, bala, kumara, yavana, madhyama and vridha kala. So my dear friends, this is all together for today. We will meet uh, in the next lecture of Sunday, that is uh, in the morning, Sastavrutta, and in the afternoon, Jalak Samhita Uttarartha. So, thank you very much for your nice support. I wish you good night and take care. Thank you.